Hi everyone, welcome back to my Surat video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download spatial RNA sequencing data and note spatial RNA sequencing data into R. Spatial RNA sequencing is the next generation molecular profiling solution to understand not only the gene expression profile, but also the cell location in the tissue and the cell types of their surrounding cells. First, let's download the dataset from 10 Times Genomics website. You do need to register in order to download the dataset from 10 Times Genomics website. So on the website, uh, we can find the public available dataset from the resources link, and then dataset. So if we press the dataset, you can see uh, the link for a spatial gene expression. So if we press uh, the link for spatial gene expression, we can see five sections for spatial gene expression data set. So the data I'm using today for demonstration was stored in the third section. With the demonstration V1 chemistry, let's press the link then you can see uh, the data set for mouse brain sections. So it is a, a coronal section. So we can um, press the link to see the data information. You can see uh, here are the data information for uh, this data set. The data set was generated from mouse brain uh, coronal sections. Uh, the mouse are uh, male mouse about uh, eight weeks out from uh, C57 black 6. So here is the information about the uh, microscope that uh, was used to take the uh, image for the brain slides. Down here is the sequencing information, the machine, barcode, slide, area, how many spots were detected under the tissue, the average UMI counts per spot and the average genes per spot. And uh, down here are the files that we could download to perform spatial RNA sequencing data analysis. So uh, here are the input files, the original Fast TQ sequencing data and the imaging data, those files were input into the space range pipeline and uh, analyzed to generate the output files. So there are lots of output files uh, down here. The BOM files, read information, features, barcode, and the metrics clustering analysis, spatial imaging data. So they analyze the data by the loop browser. But to do the analysis in R, we just need the filtered features, barcode and the metrics in the HDF5 file. It merged the features barcode and the metrics, so we can press this link to download the, the HDF5 files. And also we need the uh, spatial imaging data, we need to download this one as well. So now we can open the download folder. You can see in the download folder, we have two files. One is the features barcode and the matrix file, the other one is the images file. The image file was a compressed file. We need to extract the, the files. I'm using a 7-zip to extract the files. 
So now we can open this file. You can see inside we need to uh, extract the files again. So now we can open this file. You can see the file name spatial. If we open the file, you can see the images. Now we have uh, our edge file files and the image files. We can copy them into the other folder for analysis. So we put them into the folder uh, named the coronal mouse brain section. Now we have the files ready to read them into RStudio. So now we can open RStudio and read the data into R. To read the spatial sequencing data into R, we need to use the function node 10 times spatial. So let's have a look at this function on throughout web page. So you can see for this function, first we need files directory. So uh, in our code for this function, you can see we saved the data in the folder called the coronal mouse brain section. So that's the folder we save in this coronal mouse brain section. Next one is the files name for the HEDH5 files. So in our folder, here is the full name for the H5 uh, files. And then uh, we can use the full name uh, in the code for the H5 files name. So after the files name, uh, it is the uh, a C name. So the a C name names the initial A C. We know it is the spatial sequencing data. Then the slice, the slice name for the stored image of tissue slice. Now we can run this function. So okay, so you can see, uh, uh, I read the spatial sequencing data into here. So we can have a look at the metadata for the brain spatial sequencing. Let's run. You can see uh, here in the column, they are the barcode, then the origin ID. We didn't give them a project name. So it's a default set called threat project. Now we have the N count spatial and the M feature spatial. So let's look at the data again. You can see uh, we named the object as the brain. So in the assay before, for the single cell RNA sequencing data, it is RNA. But here you can see it's a spatial. Uh, inside there are counts and the data. At the moment, the data is the same as the count because we didn't do any analysis yet. So we look at the metadata already. So the difference you can see here, we have a images not in the spatial sequencing data set. So that's where we can store the data for image. So now we can look at the n count spatial and the n feature spatial by uh, two functions. One is the wiring plot. We use this function during uh, the single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. And also, like the spatial feature plot, we can see uh, the n count and the n, n feature on the images. So let's uh, run the n count 
spatial first, then we named it as plot one, and the spatial feature plot uh, as plot two. And we can look together the plot one and the plot two. So let's zoom in. So you can see on the right hand side we have the n-count information on the image. So you can see lots of spots. So uh, that's where the sequence in um, data stored. So each uh, spot represent one uh, barcode, but uh, it is different from single cell RNA sequencing because uh, each spot may contain more than one cell. That's the reason also you can see from the wiring plot and the image plot, you can see each spot has a much higher uh, n count than the single cell RNA sequencing data when we use the wiring plot function. So we also can use the wiring plot and the spatial feature plot to look at the n features. So we give the wiring plot name as plot 3 and the spatial feature plot name as plot 4. We can look at the images again. Let's zoom in. So you can see on the right, uh, it's the tissue image uh, with uh, all the spots. And uh, on the left hand side is the wiring plot. So you can see each spot has a high number of M features. So now we managed to read the spatial sequencing data into R. Uh, I'm going to stop here. Uh, you can have a go to download the spatial sequencing data and try to see if you can read in the data into R. So I'm really happy to see you here today. Uh, please subscribe my channel after watching my video tutorials. So I hope you became my first 1000 subscribers.